You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Well, there's a beautiful shot from today. A look at Campbell Hills in South Butte County. Doesn't seem like rain is headed out, uh, but looks can be deceiving. Those cows don't know what's coming, or maybe they do. You always hear that, that animals seem to have a sense about earthquakes or storms on the way. No. I just think the cows are busy eating The cows don't know what's coming, Patrick, <laughs> but Patrick knows what's heading our way. What's going on? Yeah, we do have another storm headed to Northern California. It will bring rain, wind, and mountain snow, so it is going to be a lot to cover. So here's what we have. Tonight, use the time, the dry weather, to prepare your storm drains or clear some of those, your gutters, and keep, keep an eye on your yard because you will want to do some prep work because some heavy rain is on the way. This is the view from the Deer Creek High Highway camera Chico in the distance there, some high clouds in the sky this evening. Some showers arrive very late tonight into early tomorrow morning for the coastal mountains. Wind picks up tomorrow morning along with the moderate to heavy rain by mid to late morning. So your morning commute does look dry, but as you head home tomorrow, we will have some heavy rain falling in the valley itself. So timing some things out by 730, those clouds start to thicken up a little more. They're still in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere, but we start to see some thicker clouds moving into the coast mountains by 1130 p.m. And this will bring a chance for some showers to Trinity County. And eventually this system will slide on shore with the heaviest rain moving through for the valley between about 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. So the places I am watching will be north of Redding in some of the foothill areas. We, we have the mountain squeezing out some of that moisture and same thing for areas north of Chico and east of Chico where the mountains are oriented or angled just right where it's squeezing out some of the moisture in the air and more rain falling compared to other areas. Snow levels tomorrow sitting right around six to 7,000 feet. This is a warmer system, but we will have the heavier rain moving through for a good chunk of the day tomorrow into early Thursday morning, so this will put some pressure on our creeks, streams, and rivers. So far, the Sacramento River only has one gauge expected to reach flood stage, but it is still a little uncertain right now exactly where and how long that will occur until we start to see some of the rain falling and viewing this on radar itself. Now, Thursday morning, we start to see snow levels falling to around four to 5,000 feet. At the rain, though, and the moisture moving out, with a few scattered showers and maybe a rumble of thunder or two by Thursday morning itself. Overall, the valley expected to see up to about two to three inches of rain and up to about three to six inches of rain in some of those areas I highlighted earlier. Flood watches begin tomorrow. Wind gusts will also pick up tomorrow, gusting up to about 25 to even 35 for sustained winds, I should say 25 to 35, gusting up to about 55 miles per hour. Wind advisory for the valley begins tomorrow. High wind warning for northern Trinity County begins tonight. Gusts there up to about 80. So here's some of the key things to watch for the storm. Urban and small stream flooding possible, so turn around. Don't drown on those roads that traditionally flood. Power outages also possible from the wind and tough travel conditions with the mountain snow. About one to two feet of snow in the highest elevations, heaviest snow above 6,000 feet. Now here's what we're looking at for the next seven days. Thursday, the rain tapers off, but isolated showers and a rumble of thunder not out of the question, and that pattern will continue into Friday and Saturday, so it's not a widespread rain. Some isolated showers, rumbles of thunder at times, but our next storm moves in Sunday into Monday. That's not as strong as the one we're seeing tomorrow, but it will still put some pressure on our creeks and streams because all of the rain that we're seeing with this one. All right, thanks, Patrick.